Hey guys, this is just a quick review on how to create a mock-up for your logo or for your brand. Now the first thing that you will want to do is find a free mock-up online for whatever product that you want to create. For mine, since I'm creating like a coffee brand, I just searched up some different, uh, I just typed in free mock-up for coffee. Um, mock-up world is a good one. It has a lot of free mock-ups that you can click on right here um, and scroll down you can see they've got a lot for packaging even some for books um, food and beverages fashion and apparel so a lot of these things you guys can use now some of the links um, take you to websites that maybe make you sign up for like a membership um, if that's the case for example this one right here um, i really like the look of it but whenever i click free download it takes me to uh, this website here, Design Cuts, and Design Cuts wants me to sign up for um, emails and things like that. So I just found a different one that I liked um, on Mockup World that didn't make me sign up for anything. Uh, and so I found this one just by scrolling through. Uh, I clicked free download on to the side and it will download straight to your computer as a Photoshop document. So I'm going to say download mockup and it's downloading right now as a zip file. Now once it downloads you'll need to um, open that up so it's right here. I'm going to double click it to open up the zip file so that I can actually see the Photoshop document right here that I need for photo P. Once you see that uh, PSD file, then go into photo P and say open from computer or you can simply open up your files and drag it in. This is just as simple. So I'm saying open from computer. I'm going to click on this right here. Find my mock-up and it will pull in all of the files that needed to be used to create this mock-up. Now right over here you'll see all of the different layers, the background color, uh, this big file that creates all, the, all of the shadows, um, but this one right here, if you recall, this little button, if it has this little white and black box, that means it's a smart object and smart objects can be opened as a separate file. The smart object here is the actual design and logo that they have on it currently. What I want though is to put my own logo on that instead of this AB logo. So I'm going to double click it to open it up. Then I'm going to open and place my logo that I want on the bag which I've already downloaded from Gravit Designer. And I want to open up the SVG file, so make sure that you have that one downloaded. And I'm looking for that one. So it's going to open it. You may need to stretch it a little bit, whichever size you want. And then I'm just going to hide their layer so it doesn't show up on the bag. I'm going to position it where I want. I'll probably just put it in the center there. And then the most important thing to make sure that this smart object links back to the mockup is that you just have to say uh, Command S or Control S to save it. And the smart object will then be updated. And if I go back here, it should show as my logo. There it is. Once you've got that, just make sure you say File save as a PSD, and then also export it as I would recommend um, a JPEG or PDF. Uh, JPEG will be the best since we'll upload these to our website. So then you just download it as a JPEG and then also save it as a PSD just in case we need to fix anything. I would recommend doing two of these for your brand uh, and then don't forget to get your uh, business card created today as well. Have a safe day.